Hello, Derek Bergener here. It is November 12th, 2017, and I'm going to do a video on how I would prepare a watch list for Monday morning using the various um, easy scans that I have created in TC2000. So as I went over in a previous video, um, uh, I showed you all the different watch lists I created to help manage uh, between Trick Trades watch lists and the gappers coming up and my watch list, what I might have flagged, and so forth. I'm going to just go watch that other video to see how I do all this. But uh, anyway, to prepare, I would first uh, go to my flagged Friday. This is last Friday. I, I don't, I mean like a week ago Friday, right? So I want to uh, remove all symbols from the list. Okay. This is my flagged symbols from what I was watching this past Friday, like the last trading day. This is flagged symbols from the last trading day. I want to copy that. Copy all. Copy all. Clear. Copy all flagged to flagged Friday. All right, so that just preserves everything that I might have been watching. So then I want to clear all the flags in the symbol. Or clear all flags in the system. Then for Monday, uh, for Trick Trades um, pre market plan of attack, I'm going to clear all of these, clear all, da, 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 remove all symbols from the list. Okay. And then uh, the gappers for Monday. I, this is Monday a week ago. So remove all symbols from the list. Okay. And this is my, this will be my Monday, right? So this is. Monday a week ago. So remove all symbols from the list. Boom. Okay. So now basically I have a, a blank slate. The only thing I have preserved is anything I might have flagged that I was trading on Friday. And I could go over that, but that's not the point of this. The point of this is uh, finding things to look, uh, to, to watch new stuff to watch for Monday. So the scan that I have right here, high of day up 10%. So what that means is the high of the day, like let's look at the CREG, even though it came down a lot, well, this is a bad example because it was up 150%. But um, the, the, the basics of this scan is the high of today has to be at least 10% higher than, oh, that's on weekly. Never mind, sorry. Good. Put that back on daily. The high of today has to be at least 10% bigger than yesterday's close. So even though it came, it might have came down, I don't want to miss that, right? So this, I'm going to just flip through everything. I'm not going to necessarily pick stuff, but uh, if I see something really good, I will. So again, this is your biggest gain. Basically, this is your biggest gainers based on how high they got during that trading day. Uh, Xnet, um, OMER, we all know about that one. I'm just showing you the, like the results of these scans. Uh, there's 31 stocks that met this criteria that I have. So I also here show, uh, price history above $2 and dollar volume above 10 million shares or 10 million, 10 million dollar volume on the day just to weed some stuff out. And there's only 31 stocks on this list. So I'll go through and look for anything tradable here. So this one QTM uh, 3.1 million, you know, like uh, like this here, this level, this 651 level. Oh no, it already failed back down. So and now, uh, forget it. Uh, I'm just, I'm not even going to like try to analyze any of these. I'm just going to show you the results that my scans get, right? And then you can see there's there would be lots of possible things to uh, look at. That $15 level, it would be looking interesting. But see, it's already pulled way back to here. Uh, this scan, it, it may or may not produce interesting results. OK, the next one I want to show you is um, approaching or broke recent highs. This tends to produce some very interesting stuff because it has nothing to do with how big it moved on the particular day. It has to do with is the price near a recent high. It 
could have had like a tiny little range for the day. Uh, so this SGMO that I think that showed up on the other scan too. You know this fifteen dollar price level. Um, that one cleared clearly broke through this you know twenty four dollar level. So this scan is approaching or broke a recent high. So this clearly broke the recent high. So this would be something uh, very interesting to to watch. <clears throat> oh, so let's let me just show you. So I would just uh, put that in my uh, Monday symbols. Uh, has enough volume? Yeah. A Y X. All right. So that's added for my Monday watch. And then we go to IMMU, next one here. Uh, oh, that's, that's my previous notes. We'll see. Watch for squeeze to 13 or fail. So it, it uh, didn't even do that, but it's still a good... It didn't do that the other day, whenever I added that note. So that's a good one. I'm just going to... I'm not going to go through everything here. I just want to show you how the different scans work that I have. Remember, this is approaching or broke recent high. I worked with uh, <clears throat> the Bruce at TC2000 to help me develop this scan. It was pretty complicated. I could never figured it out myself. Um, but you see how these price levels. This is uh, this scan, by the way, only works based on the close. There, I had previous note short at eight. Well, it still might be a possibility. All right, so that's kind of how that scan. See these previous highs? It's approaching previous highs. The idea is it went up and it's pulled back and it's coming back sometime in the last 30 days. Now it came back, but it failed. Juno, yeah, well, that that was on the watch list, but it didn't ramp up till end of day. So, okay, next one here that I like to watch is this one is. Um, Days in a row up. All right. This gets this. Um, I added this column. Oh, it's so tiny. The high. Hopefully, you can see it. That's days up. All right. This is sorted by. It scans for stocks who have had the most number of uh, days up in a row. And there's the count right there. Five days, five days, four days, four days, three days. Now, to me, a day up, the, I, I add some criteria here. Days up in a row. See, you would, th not green days in a row. See, this is a green day, green day, green day, green day, green day. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they were, they, these all met my criteria. My criteria is that the close, see that, like the close, had to be higher than the previous close and an up day. So there are the close higher than the previous day, the close higher than the previous close, the close higher than the previous close. Guess what I'm looking for? Short opportunities. And look how it <clears throat> curled over. This is going to be, now I have to check to see if I have borrows, but um, what is this? Uh, TU. It's like half this stuff. Like, I never heard of it. That doesn't matter. So let's go through here. This is again days up in a row. Five days up in a row. One, two, three, four, five. And well, you know, if you look at the daily chart here, um, oh, and it's out, that's at the 100. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And see, Look at these different price action levels. Now, um, normally, I just should mention, normally I don't have the Bollinger Bands on here, but I have a different scan that is, the next one we're gonna do is about Bollinger Bands, so that's why I put them on here to show you that, but normally I don't have it on, it's just too much noise. But look at this, look at this 100 price level on this thing. See how it was like support way back in June? All right, you know, it's tested the 100 level like lots of times. Now it's coming back to the 100 level. Yeah, this is going to be like uh, SLG, SLG. But see, this scan had nothing to do with the 100 level, but it just, 
Maybe I should make a scan about that. Yeah, okay. So let's just go, go keep going through a couple more of these. Oh, I'm at 10 minutes. Oh, I'm trying to keep my videos less than 10 minutes. All right, I got one more easy scan to show you. But you get the idea. Like, there's lots of trade setups that I could find from this. Uh, you know, right here, right at these levels. Boom, that could be a short Coca-Cola. Oh, then the next question would be, does it have enough range? No, so skip that. Um, you know, the, 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 you got to start, you know, you got to apply some additional filtering, mental filtering on these. Um, okay, so the last one I want to show you is this one here called um, uh, Why can't you see the whole title there? Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, this is Bollinger Band. The price closed outside of the upper or the lower Bollinger Bands, and the price was was if it was above the upper, the price was within the top ten percent of it, or if it was below, then the price was within the lower ten percent of it. Like I'm looking for either like something that's going to parabolic for a short, or like inverse parabolic you know for a long right so if we and I have this column here um, percent within the day's range right so see this one here this PRI it closed at 100 percent like it closed it's out of the top this is why I have the Bollinger Bands on here right now see the gray that's the Bollinger Bands so the price this would have this scan would have found this like three days in a row uh, price closed outside of the upper Bollinger Band and within 10% of the top of the range. So right here, see, yesterday it closed, Friday it closed exactly at the top of the candle, the daily candle. And then this Costco, so what I look, you know, now we have to decide, well, what do we want to do with this? Oh, look at that, it's at 100. And it tried again, oh yeah, 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 okay. Yep, P-R-I on the watch. Now I gotta see if I have borrows for this darn thing. Okay, I want to show you a couple more real quick. Costco, you know, you have to just decide, uh, you know, it, it here, there was that previous high that would have been pretty important and it broke through it at the 170 level and then there, oh, there's a big gap to fill, alright? So, you know, this just finds lots of interesting stuff. So now look at that. That's thing. That's in the big gap. But that's only eight bucks. And yeah, this probably doesn't have enough range to to uh, end the float. See, four hundred thirty-six million. Yeah, it just doesn't have enough range. TCO uh, GMAT thirty-four. This remember, this is days up in a row. This had oh no no. This is outside the Bollinger Bands. That's what this one is. So looking for a short opportunity here. Here's um, obvious breakout up to a big whole number 36. See, I got I find like so much and look at uh, oh yeah. Okay, so that could very easily be due for a pullback. Go to the daily here for sure. Okay, GMed. Just a matter of I borrows D. All right, so I could go on and on here, but um, I will see this is good. Oh, let me just show you what they look like on the other end, the percent at the um, at the bottom here, this KBE. All right, see there's bottom, it's below the Bollinger Band and it closed at the very bottom. Uh, H Band, WD, you know, there's, like I'm looking for bounce opportunities here. Um, you, you can just see, look at these charts, you know, you just see there's some of these are like better than others, obviously. <clears throat> Ooh, I've got hammered. Okay. With these few scans that I have within a matter of 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, 
I have like an overwhelming number of stocks to watch for tomorrow. Anyway, hopefully that helps somebody. If somebody wants to uh, get some copies of these scans that I've written, um, I'm not going to publish them. you got to reach out and ask me for them. Okay, hope that, hopefully that helps. Thanks.